hello there football friends. So I did, I finally got back to business and got myself out in the sidelines today. Uh, so this week's podcast I'm going to be shining the light on Goodyear. Who are currently playing their football in Middlestar Division 2. The reason that I'm shining the light this week is because looking through the, the fixtures I spotted that today's game was a top of the table clash against Scarva Rangers. So I had reached out to... Anton Dummigan uh, during the week and I asked him would he be up for getting a chat and been able to as I say celebrate and put the, put the good year under the spotlight so he obliged thankfully and as I say I reached out to him so via messenger I had said to him I say asked was was the game in Anhill? Hill he says yes game is in Anhill two fifteen kickoff. But it'll be down from about 1.15. Now I didn't get down to speak to him before the game. But I did get to chat to him afterwards. And I will play that recording for you very shortly. Uh, changing the concept a little bit. So what I did was having watched the game. I have put together a match report. So I'm going to actually read the match report as part of the podcast. And then again give you some feedback. Or some uh words that we've shared with Andy and his management team and players after the game. So the insight is there and it's all cool and groovy. So having reached out to Andy, Anton, Anton uh, he replied on Friday evening saying more than happy to have a chat with you before the game. Equally if you want to grab a pint and a chat after the game back in the club, whatever works best for you. Now ideally I would have went and had a pint at the club but the guys were obliging and we did get the chat on the sidelines sort of after the game in Anhill Park. And he says, yeah, both teams doing well. First, have dropped a few silly points, but uh, if I'm being honest, we have had our strong. We haven't had our strongest team together once this season with Gaelic and injuries. Part and parcel of middle of football, I suppose. But a good result tomorrow will set us rightly as we go from strength up to full strength. Second's going well too, unbeaten in the league so far. Hindered a bit with the referee shortages and games being cancelled, but well positioned to have a good run at the title this year. If they can get a run of games. So good year in a very good place. And uh, kicking on on all fronts. Again you will come to learn this. But there is over 40 players registered in the squad. And the mix of ability. Mm-hmm. And characters is what it seems. He has a good squad of guys there. That are prepared to run to the wall from him. So again great to see them doing well on all fronts. So they played Skiorva Rangers today. And I watched the game attentively and I was very impressed, all in all. But what I'll give you now is just uh, my match report. And then again we'll uh, give you an uh, we'll give you an insight into uh, the goings on at Goodyear, having had the chat with the boys at the end and done a bit of celebrating. So bear with me, that's two seconds. So match report as i seen it, and again I tried to be as fair as possible, and really enjoyed the encounter all in all, uh, getting down Hill Park as a neutral is always a benefit, so bear with me. So a competitive top of the table clash, a combative first half with both teams showing defensive superiority. Goodyear remained resolute at the back with Rangers only testing the goal once from long range. So the second half started with Scarva coming out red hot, pinning Goodyear in their own half for large periods of the opening exchanges. Goodyear in possession continued to get the ball forward in the same vein as the first feeding early balls to the wings and delivering early crosses. A fine save from Scarva keeper as the tide turned just denied goalkeeper Goodyear the opener. The pendulum continued to swing with nothing between the two teams. Confident goalkeeping from Sean Corey Helped the team grow back into the game, plucking the ball out of the air in quick succession as Scarva adopted a similar approach to their counterparts. An unjust free kick led to Scarva's best chance of the day, but again reassuring goalkeeping kept the tie all square. Tensions raised, the challenges grew wilder, with the referee having to produce the first yellow card of the day to Conor Dorn to stamp his authority, having let similar challenges go unpunished minutes earlier. Both teams continued to force it with a special, with only a special bit of play going to be the decisive factor in this intense game. Neither side gave an inch and at the same time producing some composed and attractive football. 
Goodyear marshalled at the back by Stephen Fox was complemented by the vocal goalkeeper and the evergreen Paddy O'Connor playing in the front of the back lane instilling confidence. A substitution for Goodyear halfway through the second half seemed to be a masterstroke from manager Anton Dummigan as with his first touch young Fergie Moore from the left side of midfield met the ball in the 18 yard line and drilled the ball through the keeper's legs to put his team in front. Despite the lead, the game remained in the balance. Both teams continued to push and the midfield battle became all the more important. A determined aggression, the determined aggression of McGinn from right back as Goodyear fought to hold on to the tender lead started to replicate throughout the team as Skjorva could not penetrate the stubborn defensive line. Moore brought a renewed energy and sharpness to the play with clever 1 2 touches. With one and two touch football open in space as Goodyear carved out numerous chances. Again though, Skjorva remained in the game. Gagey from the right side of midfield ran tirelessly all day and some of his deliveries deserved a better outcome. All in all, Goodyear worthy winners with a gritty defending and the one opportunity of composure in front of goal to come away worthy winners. So that was that folks, that was how I seen the game. Uh, apologies for the stuttering but... Uh, I'm reading this off a phone. Maybe it's not the most uh, <laughs> well put together. But I just called it as i seen it. And as I said I did enjoy the game. So what I want to do now is just. Give you the recording. Of the. After the game chat. Which we had. Which was again very insightful. And can only. Uh, can only serve. Good year, well, based on what uh, Anton Dummigan's colleagues had said about him and how, how the ship is being ran. So, listen in, football friends, and uh, be back for a chat shortly. But here, that was a hell of a Hell of a game! I really enjoyed I, it. It was, yeah. It was I really enjoyed it on a top of the table clash. Yeah. yeah is was. that the first time he's played in this season? Yeah, yes. yeah we've got them a fortnight. A fortnight again in the league. Yeah. Aye. Aye. Again, oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So, yeah, good. Dirty three points. It really yeah. was. Yeah. Do you know what? In fairness, you's, you's definitely deserved it. Uh, again, no. it was a tight game. Both teams yeah. were strong defensively. I thought, mm -hmm. but you's, you's definitely you's, 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 you's yeah. deserved the win. That's been a change for us as well, actually, because we've that's been conceding yeah, sloppy right. goals all year, like twos and threes, fours. First clean, sheet. That's yeah. the first clean sheet today. I think so. even in friendlies and all too. Last, last four Is there anything to be said for uh, the veteran that played in front of the back line today? Brilliant. Oh, oh, Rose Rice. Uh, he's an absolute warrior. So he is. He yeah. said, I was talking to him a few weeks ago and he said he was playing beside Foxy. And yeah. that, you know, he was enjoying it. Centre half snap where he's always played. He's, he said, maybe over 10 years he's played a full season there. You know, between games yeah. in and out. But he yeah. said, so he's enjoying it. But the same in there the day, I thought. He was oh, exactly. outstanding. Brilliant. The fella he's played, he was up against the other day, like we've played against him for years now, and he's always been a handful. Yeah. But I think yeah. Potty had him in the back pocket the other yeah. day. No two ways Done a it. job on him, definitely. And, and that was just by chance. So it was, there uh, were three centre midfielders out at the window. Right. Chubby's so, out, yeah. out, Taz is out, Fergie McConnell's out. So it was. Mickey Stevenson, man of the match last week. And Mickey Stevenson as well was missing the day. Uh, so it was by well, chance. Well, they weren't yeah. missed if, if that ah, performance goes by anything, they weren't missed today. Memory stepped in there, did a super job. Like. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, that's the thing, we see the strength and depth this year across both teams, and I think that's why both teams are doing well, is the 40 players registered, and literally you could, there's two players for every position. Well, I'll just embarrass you a little bit and ask these guys, how does he make it work, or what, what's the winning formula? Or Organisation, yeah. I think that's what it is. See the difference between him managing and what we did have before the training sessions. That's yeah. where it all comes down to. The training sessions are organised. Yep. Everything's set in a drill from the start. Boys know exactly. Boys know exactly what's going on in training, and then come Saturday they've been told this is what we want to yeah. be done. And that organisation came from a wee switch up during the week to say we know what we're up against here. We know what we need to do, and I think that's where it's coming down to. Brilliant, brilliant. As I say, you guys don't have the good fortune, like other teams, mine included, where there's a filtration of players coming through, yeah. young, and yeah. you know, you're, you're plucking guys. You, did, you said you relied on Gaelic at times, yeah. but the Gaelic boys weren't missed out of the day. And, no, well, you know, Fergie, Fergie, Fergie Murray uh, uh, <laughs> was missing at the start of the year with injuries through Gaelic and whatnot, so he came on. That's his first, his first touch as well. His first oh, touch, oh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> uh, inspirational substitution. <laughs> 
but that's it. Like, this there, is the match report. <laughs> yeah, there, there is, and, and that's happened throughout the year, to be honest with you, Richie. Boys have came on and scored goals, so that's it. It's a strength and depth. Brilliant. Crazy, so it is, you know, so it makes me have a. And a, speaking of Fred O'Connor there afterwards, you talked about the goalkeeper. Sean. Oh, oh he's brilliant. Worth his weight in gold, but having a good goalkeeper. Yeah. At any level, having a good goalkeeper is. It makes a hell of a difference when you got somebody behind the back. The like key was plucking the ball out of the air for you yeah. guys today, and the hold you could see everybody's taking a breath. Yeah. yeah. You know, the back lane's composed, the goalkeeper's instilling that confidence in everybody from right through the pitch. So it was great to watch. No, superb. Great to watch. It really was. Uh, yeah. Sean's club captain as well, Alex. So Sean is, yeah. He's setting the example there. And he's in the squad tomorrow, as you're saying, for the He is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's in the so the athletic grounds for an hour. I wonder how that went down. <laughs> <laughs> Did he tell anybody? Maybe I, I won't know. publish this after. Maybe after, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. oh, he knows himself and Sean like he's had a couple of weeks there where he obviously was feeling under the pressure with the balls coming in yeah. and that performance that's a turning point for him right there yeah. because he's well, coming out he's commanding whether it was by, by accident or by you know good fortune whatever yeah. like that was a solid back lane you said the other day it was a solid midfield in fairness yeah. both teams were defensively strong so it always going to set up that kind of way I think that game because them boys, yeah. we knew they were coming down here with set pieces as their, their yeah. weapon, so we had to be strong. Yeah. And they were going to be strong in the back line. They don't, I don't think they've conceded too many no. over the course of the Well, I mean, the goal so that you scored was a perfect uh, substitution. Yeah, and, uh, again, yeah. You know, yeah. broke, you broke their line a few times, but their goalkeeper was good. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, it was Look, definitely a game of defence versus defence. Yeah. Yeah. Gagy played really well on the right side of midfield. I thought that's... his deliveries... And again, I've wrote these all these notes down myself, but the deliveries were fantastic, and it was just about they were worthy of of a, of a different finish. But against yeah. the lesser backline, maybe that a not have arrived, you know. Yeah. Made it clicked a wee bit more. You got a bit more of a, a chance or a wee sort of scrappy goal in there with that delivery. Uh, well, but tell me this: Have you played every team yet? Have you halfway through the season? Uh, with two with uh, yeah. Donna Cloney and Red Star to play. So right. And. These guys are the measure of the league, you reckon? Well, at the minute, they were unbeaten the other day. Uh -huh. until the well, day. there you go. So they were. So between themselves, uh, Katie Saltic, who beat us the other week, were good, but we were 3-1 up that game and yeah. just dropped the heads and took the foot off the pedal. So, yeah. so uh, look, I haven't seen pretty much everybody at this stage. I don't think we've anything to fear, but it's just, you know, keeping the reforms just going for 90 minutes and not, yeah. you know, 15, 20 minutes. Well, you've know. definitely got boys running through brick walls for you. That man there, Mr. McGinn, as an example. Like, when we were down and out there the day, and I, listen, just take my word for it. As I see the game, like, you know, but he was making tackles, which was then, you know, it was still treating nah, through the team then. Boys were up. fucking up. Boys, boys were going yeah. and going and going. Yeah. So, your main man of the match, I don't know, I don't know who'll give it to you. <laughs> 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 never I never give him it. <laughs> Obviously his favourite has him so yeah, No, that's yeah. it. That's it. I'm a match report it was definitely it was uh, balanced. I tried to tried to give Scarva yeah, some sort of yeah. some sort of credit. Oh, they but yeah, they they are. are it was and I was in it was excited I was in interested and excited about the standard. The standard was good. Yeah. You know, you were you played tried to play football in the right way. You know, the ball was getting down, you were getting across early. It's not yeah. a case of coming to the park and doing this all day. Yeah. yeah. You I know think as well, it was Mitzi did scored nine in a row or something there too. Yeah, uh, uh, Connor Aubrey, he's been on top form this year. So yeah. he has. I think he's, he's probably up there with top goal scorers in the league. Like he's hitting two every week now. Two, three, uh, two. Yeah, it's just gonna, yeah. He didn't get he didn't get the goal the other day, but he also got the assist. So yeah. he's, he's seen games, which is Happy days. which is brilliant, you know. So if we can get that defence right from now going forward and get the clean sheets, makes he's going to put the ball in first. And like I said, with options all over. So big time. That was evident today. Alex. very good. Well done, boys. No. Nope. Uh, who's your game next next week? Uh, junior Cup. Down in skin. Now the last time I see this after the Junior Cup game is this mom was quite excitable. I was, del I was delighted for you. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. delighted for you. <laughs> well, tell me about the last Junior Cup game just before we finish how it went for you, and then. Richie, that wants to drink after. I can't remember. They can down here anywhere from the Limavady direction. They're cold rain, so. Tough game again, big sort of physical team, a lot of ball in the air from them. Don't know uh, much about them. They had to concede in the first 45 seconds that much, yeah. which you know put us under a wee bit of pressure, but the boys just kicked into life and were, you know, probably should have been more that day. So, How did it finish? 3 1. 3 1. 
it could have been more like there was, there was chances and it felt like one of those games where you're going this isn't going to happen here you're yeah, sitting yeah. one nil down and nothing's dropping for you there's no chances going in and then eventually you've got a goal and, and kicked on at that stage but brilliant travelled to Derry Chara United and Lecklands Leisure Centre and next week no, and that's again that's, 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 that's it and your squad will be full strength again you'll have uh, head for next week Richie, the way it's been this year is just regardless. There's always two, three, four boys out for whatever reasons, yeah. you know, injuries yeah. and whatnot. So, but again, the depths are whoever's out and somebody else steps in and you're doing the job. Like, yeah. So, uh, it's brilliant. So there's no worries on, on that front. And you're working your magic organisation. Boys are motivated, yeah. running through the wall for the for the management team. That's it. Just, just, not, just no trying to keep that going. That's Absolutely, all onwards and upwards. It's yeah. a winning formula so far. <laughs> so far, yeah, so good. good. So far, so good. Boys, again, I, I did chat with you at the start of the season. I will try and drop in. Again, as the season goes on, Do, yeah, and it's sure. listen, it's it is what it is. I'm doing it for a hobby. It's a bit of crack. Why not yeah. celebrate our own local football rather than? Yeah, I think it's brilliant what you're doing. It's you know, it showcases is. local football, and again, I have an affiliation with Goodyear from dating yeah. way back when we were playing. Me and Paddy O'Connor, believe it or not, we played for Goodyear Juniors. <laughs> Goodyear yeah. Juniors yeah, became yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunnyside eventually, but. Tony Moore used to run out where you get the, right. the, the brown lemonade and the packet of hunky dories <laughs> after every game and stuff, you know, in the changing rooms yeah. and whatnot. So, and I played, I, play, <laughs> I played for a good year for Jared Totten, who actually was out walking his dog earlier, was uh, commenting on the match as well. So, yeah, I've an, have an eye, I've an eye on all the, all the teams <laughs> in some regard. Club, you know, so, I think how did the hurt get on today? They were beat, they were beat two, two or three, I think. Mm-hmm. I was. Fully enthralled nah, yeah, here. Yeah. Enthralled in this one. Enthralled in this one. Boys, listen, it keeps yeah, us all out of the house, doesn't it? So it's a bit of sport. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy. So there you have it. Uh, say a kind words from uh, Anton's colleagues. Uh, excited for a good year, to be honest with you. You know, they seem to be on the crest of a wave at the minute, and all things are going well. The strength and depth is very much the, the key to their success. A lot of guys. Hungry to get back to playing football. I've spoke about it before, but after lockdown, we you don't know what you've got till it's gone. So the thirst and hunger and drive to get back in the football field and and enjoy it while 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 can is is very much there and it's favour and good year in their in their approach. So wishing them all the best and again looking forward to dropping in to see them again. Keeping a keen eye on all the local teams uh, fixtures going forward. Uh, keeps me. Keeps me sane as well, and say, hanging out with like-minded people on the sidelines, or maybe grabbing that pint the next time. Yeah, <laughs> all serves well. All serves well. I enjoy nothing more than talking about football. Hence this podcast. But all good sport. All good sport. Going to keep it. Going to keep it straight and simple. That's how it is. That's how it was. And hopefully. Uh, I'll do it again very soon. I will be looking at the other clubs to replicate a similar approach. So again, with uh, watching the match, putting the match report, my match report uh, across, and then catching up and having words with the management team, players, etc. So thank you massively to to Goodyear. Uh, The guys seem to be on board with this and uh, enjoy celebrating and highlighting local football so keep up the good work everybody uh, we'll chat these again very soon remain awesome football friends <laughs>